Hey guys, how's it going? So, um, I gotta give you guys my, uh, you know, my my final opinion on Volkov. And, um, okay, first opinion, stats, uh, yeah, yeah, also, if, if you guys do, do enjoy the type of content, because it's great content, hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. And, um, yeah, so best stance to use with Volkov, definitely attack stance. Just my opinion. Uh, keeps things pretty even for the most part. Helps with his killing, with scythe, and stuff like that. Now that we're in the game, I'm just going to talk about his sigs one by one. They're kind of going to be a repeat of the first uh, video I did on him. But just my final opinions, because they might be updated. Side sig. Uh, side sig is very quick, pretty good at baiting. It's got almost no recovery frames, but I think this move is balanced for one reason which is it drops way too much like this move drops a lot if you like slide charge it but this move is very good for slide charging like you know how on scarlet i do hammer down zig you can do the same thing it's just it doesn't like it drops you know it drops a lot so they're gonna hopefully fix all the dropping issue but once it's, it's, the dropping fixes itself it might be a little too quick I'm going to have to test it, but it might be a little broken, so they might have to change the amount of recovery frames on whiff. But that's really it. The move is pretty good. Um, N-Sig needs less force. It's got way too much force for the attack. It's got to be toned down. And, um, yeah, you can kill him like Orange on, like, Small Bro if you can do that. Like, it's, like, it's kind of crazy, you know? So yeah, that, that definitely has to be adjusted, so fix the end sig. Um, and it's just the force of it. Everything else, it's got lots of active frames, so I'm not too worried. So yeah, fix, fix the force, that's it. Um, down sig. Down sig also drops, so fix the dropping issue. But I think this is a very balanced sig. I think it's probably the most balanced on a scythe kit. It's very good. And uh, yeah, next axe. Ensig is very good, also very quick as well. Um, you can also kind of see, look at the amount of priority you get. It's a lot. There's also some it's not hitboxes before an animation, but like, I don't know. That's that's a, that's a that's a pretty big hitbox. That's like pretty big. It's like it's it's very balanced. I don't have an issue with Ensig. Um, side sig, I don't have an issue with either. I think it's very balanced. It's very quick. Only does 17 damage unless you do the full version, which does 23. Um, it's, it's very, very, very quick and only 17 damage again. Lance Nair does more damage than Side Sig. Is Side Sig a combo starter? I just want to see that. No, okay, just, just making sure. Did you go Side Sig into End Sig? No. Okay, just making sure. But yeah, no, it's 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 a sig, but it's like it's okay. It's not like I, there's nothing bad or good about it. Down sig, very good sig. Lots of damage, lots of active frames, lots of hitboxes. Pretty quick, but really long because of the active frames. Um, I think it's just a good sig. Nothing really wrong with side sig. It's very unique as well. It doesn't hit very vertically, but. That's some weird hitbox spacing, but yeah, it's just a good sig. I don't have a problem with his axe kit, it's mostly his scythe sigs, which I kind of have a problem with. Mostly just the side sig, or uh, sorry, not, not axe sig. End sig is axe's best sig, but the scythe sigs are just a little quick. I don't, end sig needs less force. Side sig, I think, needs a stun, re or, uh, stun or recovery frame increase on whiff. That's really it, fix the drops as well alongside that. The character is definitely not broken, but definitely spammable at low ranks. So people who aren't in like high diamond might have issues punishing his uh, signatures with, his, I, I, had, I had a lot of issue punishing his sigs with like little to no practice. And like, I'm pretty good at like learning stuff very easily. So yeah, you kind of have to like play against them a lot and people below diamond kind of will definitely struggle with that, you know? Sorry about that gamers. So I, I have to, you know, I, got, I, got, I gotta I gotta make friends in the real world. Okay, I know some of you guys don't have, no, I'm kidding. I love you guys. Anyways, um, 
So yeah, nerf some of his signatures. I think as a whole, Volkov is actually very balanced. He's kind of a noob killer just because of how quick his signatures are. But it's the same thing with Lord Brax. Just complete, like, noobs will, like, struggle with his signatures. I think Scythe and Axe as a com combo for two weapons is actually a perfect combination. Scythe for building up damage. Axe helps with killing. Axe is also good for building up damage in 2v2. Scythe is very good at reading. If you're good at Scythe and a really good Scythe player, you should definitely be interested in playing Volkov completely if you're maining Scythe. Um, Axe is a great secondary and it's kind of a noob killer. So like if you're ever struggling with Scythe, usually Axe will get the job done. But um, his Scythe Sigs are some of the best Scythe Sigs in the game. His Axe Sigs are pretty decent Axe Sigs. Um, nothing wrong about them. But yeah, play Volkov if you're a Scythe main. Stay away from him if you're an Axe main, that's just my opinion. Unless you really like Scythe, then if you're like a Scythe Axe main, then sure. But if you're an Axe main, there's better Axe Legends to choose if you're going to only play him for Axe. If you're going to play him for both, then it's kind of an obvious pick. But like, to me, I'm like only a Lance player, and I wouldn't choose someone like Vector because his SIGs are better on his bow kit than his Lance kit. His Lance SIGs are trash. So I would only play Volkov if I was a bow, uh, a bow main trying to play a noob killer weapon secondary. That can kind of get the job done when it comes to killing. Because sidelight recovery. Yes. But yeah, hope you guys uh, liked this little video. Uh, why not play a quick experimental game? But uh, yeah, that's kind of it. I think Volkov is actually very balanced. I just think it will take some time for people, I've got two levels on them, it will take some time for people to adjust on how to play against them. But that's really it. Junior GXBLY. Okay, let's go, pal. I like how every map has snow on it now. This one kind of blends in, it doesn't even look like snow, because the map is pretty... like, white almost. Like, it kind of like blends into the stage. Ugh, I meant to be a downlight. My sight is garbage. One of my worst weapons. Okay, never mind. I'm insane. Nah, one of my worst weapons still. It's just because it doesn't have any true combos. I really learned based off true combos. Like, that's how I originally learned the game. can't like go backwards. That, wait, can I? Oh, can, I can't like... That's a hard signature to punish. Obviously it would just take a couple times of people spamming it to kind of adjust yourself. <sighs> you didn't have a jump reaction. Jump, nope. Okay. This guy has no jump reaction at all. So I can't use side light near recovery, but I can do a side light near maybe GCN sig. Oh no, but that kind of covers jumps. Let me use a down sig. Yep. You see my thought process? I knew he wasn't jumping, so the GCN sig wouldn't always cover. But since he's not jumping, he's going to fall. So I side light and I side light naired and then I GC down sig. Like, big brain. Do you see the big brain plates here? Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, hit that like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next. And I love you guys all. Peace.